Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to 5v5 Fridays, the series where we have a 5v5 war and the video goes live on Fridays, even though this war ended on a Tuesday. Welcome guys to today's 5v5 Fridays episode where we're featuring a good friend of mine, Hoosier. Uh, a lot of you guys probably know Hoosier. He's a beast and he's a monster and I'll explain to you guys in a moment why we're doing a 5v5 war with Hoosier. But first, I want to bring something really, really important to your attention. My buddy and a good friend and a member of the Klaus family, Aiden, has asked me to sponsor his GoFundMe page. Guys, he has recently had brain surgery, and him and his family are struggling to pay the bills for that medical expense. It's $25,000. That's a lot of money, guys. So if anyone out there is willing and interested in helping a member of our family, please check out the link down below in the description. It'll be the first link in the description, or I'll pin a comment with the link as well to the GoFundMe page. We got to get these guys some help. We're a family. What we do is we step up and help each other when we're in need. And Aiden is a longtime subscriber, a good friend of mine through the channel. And uh, just a really, really solid kid. He's only 15. He's dealing with just rough stuff, guys. So if, again, if you're interested in helping out, then please consider donating some money to help them out with their medical bills. Or in the least, please share the link with everybody that you know. Let's spread the news like wildfire and help them take care of their bills so that they don't have to go broke. Because that's, that's basically what we're dealing with right now. Uh, so thank you guys for your attention on that. Once again, the link for that will be down below in the description and the top, the pinned comment. Today, guys, we have a 5 and 5 Fridays, and I'm super excited about it because it was just a lot of fun. Uh, we did stream it on DLive on Tuesday, but because I streamed it, I'm not able to post the video until 25 days later. Uh, that's how DLive works. I'm not able to publish videos from streams, and so we opted out of recording the stream. If you guys want to see the, the stream itself, you can find it on the DLive platform and watch and learn how we strategized this war. Because we won. Big time. Let's get into some content, and then I'll explain to you guys exactly why Hoosier and I did this war. First of all, you can see here, I won. We won. We. It was a team effort. Uh, 13 stars to 9. Unfortunately, they didn't even attack his Town Hall 12, so... I mean, but even if they three-starred it, they would have only had 12 stars. We would have won either way. Uh, but you can't choose your opponents, right? I wish we could. We would have picked somebody that would have used all of their attacks. But either way, check this out, guys. We have uh, we three-starred the bottom three accounts, and then we got very high 90% plus two stars on their top bases. So I want to tell you the story, okay? The story is Lincoln is a Town Hall 11. His bottom account... Town Hall 4 or 5 or something. So I three-starred that. The number 4 account is a Town Hall 9. My Town Hall 11 three-starred that as well. So then we started working on their Town Hall 13s. He actually came in. He scouted this Town Hall 13 with his Town Hall 12. And when I mean by his, I mean Hoosier. Hoosier, my good buddy. And then I came in and pulled off the three-star. So let's go ahead and enjoy this three-star as I explain to you guys why I did a 5v5 with Hoosier. The first thing is, Hoosier has a YouTube channel. He's trying to grow, so if you want to check his content out, he focuses more on war content. You can find a link to his channel in the video description as well, below the GoFundMe link for Aiden. Uh, but also, Hoosier is a patron of mine. I never expected to have a patron sign up for this, but at the $250 uh, level, you get a 5v5 war with me. Um, and again, this was just something I figured, you know what, I might as well make a tier at $250 for fun. And if, if somebody wants a guaranteed 5v5 war, or at least a 5v5 war with me, um, then that'll be, you know, we'll do that. That'd be fun. And it, it'll be a lot of, uh, it'll be fun for the for the audience to watch a 5v5 video. So, um, it turns out Hoosier signed up for it. A good guy, a good buddy of mine. And um, so that's why we are doing this 5v5. It's one of the perks of Patreon. If you're interested in getting your own 5v5 video or stream, then uh, you can check it out. There's a link in the description to Patreon, and there's a whole bunch of other perks on a whole bunch of different tier levels as well. So sign up for that if you're interested in that. The other perks include things like Support Awards at the $5 tier. Uh, the $10 tier includes um, access to my Minecraft server. 
Uh, there's a $25 tier that gets you on my friends list. The $50 tier gets you into my clan, etc., etc. So, um, anyway, this is the... <laughs> I'm not even looking or talking about the war. Uh, right now, this this it's, this base is honestly pretty bad. Um, the fact is, it's a ring base, but because the uh, inside or the outside compartments are kind of blocked off, it makes it super easy to predict and and path and things. So it was not a hard base at all to three star. Uh, I just had to get my troops into the core, jump them through the backside, and uh, now we just have a little bit left. And I'll be dropping a baby dragon here shortly, right there, and it'll help out with the cleanup. And then everybody will kind of charge over to the right hand side, but. Uh, yeah, easy tunnel three or 13 v 13 three-star strategy here uh, Going in with Yeti smash now Hoosier actually tries out several different strategies uh, whenever he attacks number one and two I actually attacked one of those as well now What you'll notice is that their number one and their number two were the exact same base design Except maybe a little bit of a tweak here and there. I think like the clan castles in a different spot and stuff. I mean, it was it was pretty amazing. But anyway, yeah. So three star, th thirteen p thirteen three star. That got the stream all kinds of hyped up. By the way, guys, you don't want to miss the streams. Come out to the streams. I stream on D Live every Tuesday and Saturday at noon Eastern time. That is the current schedule. You can find the link in the description. And that's tomorrow, by the way. So come out and hang out at the streams. The link for D Live once again can be found in the description. So, uh, once again, we got a dip, a dip, and then a 13v13 three-star. Easy money. Now, we had lots of attacks to play around and attack number one and number two. Now, the top percentages both go to Hoosier. He did a really great job. This one was a 97%. And actually, he attacked with what looks like a, a Yeti smash as well. He had a, he had actually did some Lalo raids. He did uh, a couple of hybrid raids. And then, of course, he, he went in with the Yeti Smash, and the Yeti Smash actually did the best against this particular base design. So what was fun about the stream, what I really enjoyed about the experience, was the fact that he was on voice with me in Discord. So uh, he was on the stream. People in the stream could hear it. And again, if you want to watch that, you can, so that you can hear how we strategized, and, you know, we talked through the, the attack strategies that he was going to do and that I was going to do. And I, um, I had a really good time with that, by the way. I, I think that we're going to be doing more of that in the future. Um, but, uh, this was his thing. Uh, he decided, because I tried the Yeti Smash on this base, and everybody kind of walked around, so he decided to bring a, a Yeti Bomb out of a Battle Blimp and make sure that the funnel on this side was really, really good. Plus, he added in the Electro Dragon. I didn't use that. He has the, uh, the Warden Walk on the bottom, and then this, what this did was force all of his troops to go into the core, and he used my Quad Quake strategy, uh, to get into the Town Hall. So this actually worked out nicely. Uh, I would like to see another raid spell leading into that town hall. There's a poison spell over the CC. There we go. And a perfect warden ability. Now, what I would have done, and we kind of discussed it, I would have brought a jump spell to get them through the backside of this base a bit. But he decided to instead to bring another raid spell. I don't know if that was a better decision or a worse decision. He didn't three star, so it's it's kind of a... It's, it's something that we would talk about. You know, we would say, you know, maybe if we had another opportunity to attack this base, maybe try the jump spell instead of an extra rage spell. I don't know. Uh, but it actually went really well. So the, the uh, Royal Champion, with her ability, kind of pops off, takes out a ton of defenses. Unfortunately, the Queen dies way over there. But it's got plenty of cleanup on this bottom side. So now it kind of comes down to a mini army between the, the King and and the royal champion and the warden and then of course he's got a couple of troops that are going to kind of combine with that here at the bottom so i'm going to break the news to you guys this would have been a three star it was a, remember it was a 97 percent two star this would have been a three star had the clock not been an issue we ran out of time in the attack which was really unfortunate because the stream guys the stream chat was going crazy i mean nuts and, um, I mean, to be honest, we deserved it. We needed a three-star, right? Um, and it was really, really close. Time was of the essence here. Um, but we, we just ran out of time. This was a winning combination. I mean, the fact that we gutted the entire core. We have a couple of bowlers in this combination with the king. Uh, we have the healers that are going to keep some stuff alive and be an unlimited source of damage. And then also on voice, Hoosier was like... So, should I pop the ability? And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, if you're going to have a time issue, you need to pop your ability as soon as possible. And fortunately, the king kind of ring, uh, ran around that inside ring and de uh, destroyed a few defenses. But again, it came down to time. And actually, look at this awesome healer split. I mean, the healers never do this, where they split in, 
and cover all the troops that need some sort of protection. It was just awesome. Of course, there was no defenses up there, but you understand what I mean. So it all came down to a double cannon, a wizard tower, and an altar. He would have three-starred this base. Had he had another 10 seconds, he would have easily three-starred this base. So, so close. Time fail. Uh, 97%. 13 v 13. That is... That is some big stuff. So shout out to Hoosier. We all need to give Hoosier some love in the comments. He'll be reading the comments. He'll probably be in the comments. So let's give him some love. So if we bump up to the number one base, which is naturally the harder base because it's the top base, uh, Hoosier had the better attack. Again, this was another Town Hall 13. He has two Town Hall 13s, by the way. Very impressive. Uh, and uh, this is his other Town Hall 13 attacking the number one base. Very similar base design, slightly adjusted, slightly different. And with this one, he attacks with a hybrid raid, which is, which, this, this just goes nuts. I don't, I don't even know how this goes the way it does. It just, it's just crazy. So watch this. First of all, he's starting his Queen Charge down here. His idea was to uh, jump in there and lure that CC and uh, take it out because you guys know with hybrid you have to take out that clan castle you really should take out the enemy queen uh, but mostly it's about the enemy clan castle and she just kind of wanders off and goes in the wrong direction like the whole time it was terrible so he uses a super wall breaker super wall breaker breaks into that compartment and the the yeti deployed at the top does a really nice job of um of funneling so now the queen has really nowhere to go but inside of the base so, and we actually had a mistake where the queen walked around the wrong side. So uh, we, we adjusted the strategy to, to make up for that. There's the poison. There is the rage spell. CC troops are a pain. The ice golem's the worst because basically this queen's got to just take hits for however long that ice golem is down. So good rage spell though. The E-drag goes down and she's going to wipe out that grand or that um whatever that was. I think that was a grand warden, right? So now the idea would be Queen grab the town hall. She can reach the town hall from there. So he uses another raid spell. I'm going to back up a little bit because now he's got the king and the siege barracks up at the top. And the idea for hybrid is make a little bitty sliver of buildings. So you can see like those two storages so that the miners can go in. But unfortunately, look at this. This queen decides to break into the, the wrong compartment. Just the wrong compartment. Why in the world would she break into this tiny little sliver when she could have went in and gotten the town hall? Not intelligent. Not intelligent at all. So the hybrid was deployed and the troops start going around. Now, this wasn't the first time we've seen this. So we were both like, oh, it's over. Game over. Uh, but he had a little bit more confidence than I did. I'm not real good at hybrid. Um, he's a lot better at hybrid. So uh, he pops a Warden's ability there, keeps them alive, got a Tornado Trap, kind of distracting everything, but check this out, this Royal Champion gets the Town Hall to nearly dead, Queen steps up, and she will take out this Town Hall just in time to keep the Miners from getting hurt, and uh, they actually do successfully clear the entire inner core. A little bit of crazy luck, if you ask me. Um, the Queen actually will break through the base and take out some of the key defenses in the middle. We got a scatter shot still in Inferno, you know, that stuff. While there's still a group on the outside kind of um, clearing up around the middle. So it's actually a winning combination. I didn't expect this to happen this way. We were both shocked, honestly. Um, but it worked out really nicely. So the Queen breaks through that wizard tower and starts breaking through some walls. Now, this is why you want to upgrade your walls because it takes the Queen forever to break through the walls. And the clock is counting down. So again, time fail, guys. Time fail. This one with a 93% two-star. That was the best attack on the base, by the way, for this number one. But still, 93%. But if he had like 20 seconds left, it would have been an easy three-star. Easy. So just a really unfortunate. Close, though. Very close. The overall total destruction was 98%. I mean, that's pretty good, especially since our... Uh, opponents only got 60%. If, they, if it was a score, we practically got an A+, plus, while they got a D. Alright? Terrible. Just terrible. Unfortunate, though. They could have done a lot better had they actually used all of their raids, but they, they didn't. So, I kind of want to show you guys my second raid, just so you guys can see it. Um, maybe we'll go through it quickly. But this was the attacker number one, the base we just watched. Again, number one and two are very similar. But um, I tried the Yeti Smash, and it was my idea to kind of come in from this bottom side. I put my Warden a bit too far down into the corner. I should have, but I was a little bit afraid of putting my healers anywhere near the air defense. So that was just my bad. Um, so the idea was the Warden would walk up to the left, and the Siege Barracks would be deployed and funnel the left. Now, 
If I, if I 4x, because it's just kind of a waiting game at this point. Baby Dragon on the right, by the way, just to kind of keep the Warden from getting off track. Um, so let's go back to 1x. So, unfortunately, I deployed all my troops a little bit too early, and the vast majority of my troops walked around the outside. So my final wasn't set up right, so that's why Hoosier brought the E-Drag, brought the Yeti Bomb, all the things to make sure that all the troops stayed on task. So, we got the Town Hall. I got, like, like I said, 60-something percent two-star. But this attack happened before Hoosiers, and he learned from my failures, and that is what makes a good clanmate. The fact that he can watch a replay and say, that was what was went that's what went wrong. Let me adjust the plane a little bit. And again, if if he had he had just a couple more seconds, it would have been a three-star, you know? So unfortunate. But hey, it was really close. It was a lot of fun. The stream really enjoyed it. The street, the chat, the audience really enjoyed it. And I did too, so I'm looking forward to doing more 5v5s very, very soon. But guys, that is the story of our 5v5 with Hoosier. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the replays. Um, if you want to see the live replays, the live attacks, then definitely come to the live streams. Uh, again, Tuesdays and Saturdays at noon Eastern time. If you have a busy weekend, come during the week. If you can't during the week because you got school or work, come on the weekends. I mean, we kind of, we always have something really cool going on. Also, if um, you are having a hard time getting notifications for streams, then be sure and join my Discord server. Link is in the description for that. And um, sign up for notifications. I notify before my streams every single stream. And I think it would help you guys a lot if you guys did that. Lastly, uh, once again, don't forget our GoFundMe page for Aiden for his brain surgery. You can find the link in the description. It would really help me out a lot. If you guys would be generous and uh, and donate, if you're not able to, though, that's totally fine. Um, we understand, believe me. Um, <laughs> but if you could at least share the link with everybody that you know and tell them to share it with everybody they know, let's spread this thing out, like I said earlier, like wildfire. All right, let's give these guys some help. That would be absolutely amazing. And lastly, don't forget to uh, sign up for Patreon if you'd like your own 5v5 war. Guys, that's all for me for today. Like this video if you liked it. And if you enjoyed 5v5 Fridays, if you want more content like this, then be sure and like the video. I look at the likes. It tells me a lot about what you guys like in content. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Join the class family for daily gaming videos and ring the bell for notifications that would be great be one of the first to see the new videos become a member for early access to videos link for that is in the description to join the channel as a member uh you get 24 hour early access and to add free viewing it's the best and lastly don't forget to use creator code to support your favorite content creator if you choose to support me use code klaus guys that's all from me remember that i love each and every one of you and i'll see you all again next time.